All right. Wow, this is a very big box. Holy moly, this is going to be a big build that I just do not have room to display, but I'm going to do it anyway because I am so excited for this. I love castles and I, yeah, I'm so happy that LEGO has finally made a proper, really good castle. And I'm pretty sure this doesn't have any stickers in it, just like the other 90th anniversary spaceship, the Galaxy Explorer. Um, so definitely looking forward to that part. And yeah, if you can't tell, this is just a massive, massive box. This is like, this is like UCS set st status box. This is, this is massive. Like, yeah, one of the bigger boxes I've seen from Lego, uh, that isn't just a straight up Star Wars UCS set or the, uh, Coliseum. Anyway... With that, I am a little bit upset about the little 18 years and up thing. I think that's kind of dumb. Uh, it's it's clearly meant to be a toy and a play thing. I don't really think this should just be limited to adults, but it is for some reason. Um, but yeah, I am very excited to make this and yeah, share it with you and then share my thoughts on it. So yeah, with that, let's get to the speed build for the Lion Knight's Castle the 90 years of play, 90th anniversary set. Here we go. But yeah, with that, I'm sure you know how the buttons work down there by now, so do click them as you please. Let's get to it. Let's get to the speed build for the Lion Knight's Castle 90th anniversary set. Here we go.
right, and it is done. So, yeah, um, wow. Just, wow, this is, this is a heck of a build. Um, I gotta say, building experience-wise, definitely one of the best. Uh, definitely one of the best. It has just some techniques that, that really throw you, throw you off guard, and it, it's just, it's awesome. I mean, just, just look at, just look at this. Just this one little, that's so cool. Let me, let me move this over. Just look at, look at this mechanism. That's so cool. And I'll have to film this in, from another few angles just so you can see this, but this is just so cool. Just such a nice, such a nice little thing. And then on top of that, that also doubles as a sort of reveal for a a secret little frog that, of course, is only actually visible when this is, well, semi-closed, I guess, because as you can see when, you, when you're when you opening it, uh, this uh, the doorway starts to close in there. See it kind of close? And then when you close it, the doorway opens and reveals the special little golden frog. I love it. It's so amazing. And just that little feature alone blows my mind. And that's not even the only highlight of this whole castle. So I'm not going to go too deep in detail with every single feature of this castle, but I am going to point out my favorite things. And well, I've already pointed out one of them, which is just that little hinge there. And then the hidden door, which is just a combination that just is beautiful. But and one of my other favorite things is the door. Uh, well, the doors, the front doors. The drawbridge and the gate are both just fantastic. Being able to manipulate the gate with this little side knob over here, up and down. Or not the gate, the, the drawbridge up and down from here. And, of course, on top of that, there's a nice little thing. If a person is actually standing in the drawbridge and you open it, they can fall down in to the gallows. Well, assuming they're not a huge minifigure, there we go. And uh, you can see them down in here, and that is where the little jail cell is. Uh, so yeah, it, it perfectly puts them in the, in the position to be put to jail if they made a failed attempt at getting in the castle, and that is just so playable. And that is just one of the many, many playable and amazing features about this. It just, oh man, it's so good. Um, yeah. And just gotta talk about it. The tree, I am pretty happy with how this tree looks. I do really like the swirliness of it and it makes sense for a tree growing up against a building, so. I will say I do like it, but I gotta say, I know that the thing is to have black trees in this uh, genre that Lego does, and they did black because it was easier than brown back in the day, but that was back in the day, and I genuinely don't think there are very many black barked trees, and the ones that are black barked certainly don't have this green of leaves, so at least not normally. Uh, I just genuinely don't think that these are very natural looking trees, um, but that is one of my few gripes that just extends to also any of the black tree things that LEGO w made or has made in present day, uh, and that includes this nifty little build. So if you haven't seen, this is about the scale, and I will show more angles of this, of the Forestman's hideout next to the castle and yeah, it's got Quite the scale. Um, it's actually pretty tall considering uh, I actually didn't think that the Forestman hideout would be quite as tall as it is compared to the castle But but yeah, it works well and yeah, I, I mean it the same applies to this still I Don't like the black bark. I don't think it works for an actual tree that would be made into something like this. Um, but yeah, if you guys can 
think of a tree that actually has real black bark that also has green leaves and would grow to be this big, I would be uh, really, really happy to know because I, I know of no tr such tree that exists in real life. But yeah, um, I really like, especially now that I have both of these and I can see them together. Um, but yeah, this, this castle is just fantastic. Uh, I almost forgot to mention one of my favorite things, the little uh, secret hideouts. So there's a little secret door down here, and then there's the actual forestman's hideout, of course, next to the tree where it should be. And you can just, you know, flip the little rocky dude over, or you can reveal an entrance, secret little entrance to the castle behind that as well, once you've flipped that door open. So yeah, my... Really only complaint with this is that the tree is black and that's really just a minor complaint. I, it's really just me complaining about the color of the tree and that's nothing to get too crazy about. Really though, overall this, this build is just fantastic. There is very few, very few flaws in it and it just, it works well, it looks good and yeah, displayable as it can be. You can really spread it out and, you know, get to the interior, but also spread it out in the sense that you can make it look like a bigger castle. It's just, now it's a bigger castle. Um, and if you don't have as such, you know, deep shelf space to put it on, you can spread it out if you have a longer shelf. And now all of a sudden it's still just as displayable and you can see even more of it all at once. And, uh, yeah, it works. It just, it all goes together so well. I don't know how else to, to really express it, but yeah, this is just very playable. Again, Lego, stop putting 18 plus on sets. Adults don't care, all right? I, I, as an adult, do not care if the box says 18 plus. If it is cool and I like what it is and I like what I see, I will buy it. I don't care what the age says on a box, okay? Lego, stop. 18 plus needs to stop. <laughs> that is also just one of my gripes in general with 18 plus, not this set. Um, this set is just happens to be under that flag. So yeah, uh, and I'm just really just trying to find nitpicky things to complain about, but really this is a solid five out of five. There is nothing I can really say is actually negative about this in terms of the overall experience, the building experience, the look, the displayability. And, of course, there are no stickers, so gotta put that into it. Yeah, it is a very solid 5 out of 5, and it is very much worth the price tag that is on it. I know it might sound expensive at that $400 price range, but it is worth it. I will say, for sure, this is one of the most worth it LEGO sets that I have bought in pretty much this year. Um, most of the LEGO sets that I've bought just this year have not been quite in the value of this one, but yeah, uh, just this year, 2022. There have been some comparable ones in 2021, but this one, this year, is definitely the highlight, and if you can afford it, do recommend it. And yeah, with that, thank you all for watching. I am sure you know how the buttons work down there by now, so do click them as you please. Mr. Iota Panda.